Alright, so, um, welcome once again to Hero Villain Mashup, where I take a hero or, he or a group of heroes and kind of talk about what would it be like if a villain or another villain from another media was in their rogues gallery. And I've got something very interesting. I guess you could say this is Halloween themed. Yeah, The Darkness, ja aka Jackie Estacado from the Top Cow comic series The Darkness. Ver and the Cinnabites from the Hellraiser franchise. What would that be like if the Cinnabites were some of Jackie's enemies? All honesty, though, you could honestly see uh, <laughs> the Pinhead and the other Cinnabites as uh, as Darkness villains. They look the part. Like they look like something from a Image or Top Cow comic. They look design wise, and I don't mean to discredit the artist. It's just that they have the look of being Darkness villains. Um, in fact, if I remember right, someone told me who's like someone who's a huge Darkness fan once told me that there was a group of villains who were like a parody of the Cinnabites, apparently. But I don't know if that's for sure or not. But yeah, it, yeah, they do pretty much look like um, uh, villains right out of uh, <laughs> right out of the Darkness comics. So. Yeah, what would that be like if the Darkness, you know, if Jackie had to fight the Cenobites, you know, preferably Pinhead? You know, what would that be like if Pinhead was an enemy of his? Um, now, Jackie is no saint. Jackie is by no means a saint in any form. In fact, he's done as much harm as he has tried to do good. The Darkness is a thing of, e is kind of a thing of evil, more or less. And, yeah... Um, and the darkness, for those who are unaware what it is, it's part of a, kind of like a trifecta of different powers. Um, there's the darkness, the witchblade, and the An and the angelus in the top, in the top cow universe. So, where was I going with this? Um, yeah, it's a, it's a very powerful entity, and Jackie has actually fought characters from outside um, the Top Cow universe. He's actually fought Batman, Superman, um, he's taken on aliens and predators. <laughs> yeah, he's taken on aliens and predators. Um, he's fought the Hulk, he's fought Wolverine. Uh, a lot of people, more or less. And the guy's one of the most powerful beings in the image, in the, I guess you could say, Top Cow, it, one of the most powerful image or Top Cow characters. Although I'm surprised they've never done Darkness and Spawn crossing over. Although sometimes it kind of feels like Top Cow, it, even though Top Cow's under image, it kind of feels like its own thing. I'm rambling at this point, so I should get to the goddamn point. Point being is that Jackie is pretty powerful. Um, yeah, so the Darkness basically can create anything out of darkness. It can create, like, Darklings, um, these creatures called Darklings, and anything. Think of it like a demonic Green Lantern ring. Anything the person can, you know, imagine. Um, demonic, it can be demonically summoned through darkness, through um, shadows, and just basically the darkness itself around around the user. Um, Jackie is so powerful that once he blocked out the sun with his power, um, yeah. But there was a point where it was just like, oh, I can only use it at night or in dark places. I can't use it when there's light. But now it's like, yeah, now I can make the night. But on the other hand, you have Pinhead who, and Pinhead and his Cenobites who are, like, high-ranking generals in hell, you know, in hell. And they're incredibly powerful. Um, although, technically, they kind of let that, you know, if you want to go by the first two or three movies, they kind of let people damn themselves, and, you know, they're j they just pave the way for, your da for, for the person's damnation. That's kind of how it goes. And no person deserves to, you know, no person has a special place in hell than Jackie. Trust me. Jackie's one of those characters who, no matter how much good he does, he does equally amount as bad, and he admits that he will keep doing bad. But actually, I think he died but came back. I'm not sure. It's been a long time since I've read the Darkness comics. If anyone's, like, major Darkness fans, could someone tell me? Because I know he there was the story I called The Death of Jackie Estacado, but I don't know if he stayed dead, is what I'm saying. But yeah, let's say, like, yeah, Pinhead and the Cenobites would probably more than likely go after him. That would probably be um, the big thing here, is that they would hunt down Jackie because, yeah, he belongs in hell, and he's too, you know, he's too dangerous to be allowed on Earth any longer. So Pinhead and his Cenobites are like, yep, we're gonna use the, we're gonna use the cube, someone's gonna use it, we're gonna go out there, and we're gonna go drag him back. So yeah, hell, um, the Cenobites are incredibly powerful in their own right. They're very, they're high-ranking members uh, in Hell, according to a lot of the films. 
But Jackie's taken on demons before. He's taken on very powerful demons before. So, fight, but on the other hand, you know, he's out... Well, I would say outnumbered. I was about to say outnumbered. But then you have to remember, yeah, he, he's literally his own army. He can literally create his own army out of nothing, while the Cenobites are a smaller group. They're about five to six... There's, there's Pinhead, and depending on, you know, the number of films, there's about four or five, maybe six cin other Cenobites including Pinhead himself, in that number. But each one is incredibly powerful. Each one can deal out a lot of damage and, de and delve out a lot of pain. Um, that's how their whole thing is, is that they derive pain from pleasure. They've, um, they basically have explored new ways of, of, through pain, th of discovering pleasure through pain, and vice versa. It's literally the ultimate S&M. <laughs> But yeah, these got you know, Pinhead and his group are incredibly dangerous, and yeah, Pinhead is incredibly intelligent, where Jackie doesn't really think things through. He doesn't necessarily, you know, it's more like, shoot, shoot, stab, get the Darklings to mangle stuff, and then I'll, th I'll think of something. Now, Jackie is a thi is he does have plans, he does have several plans, but usually it's, you know, it sometimes usually amounts to, I'm just gonna go out and kill. I'm gonna just go out and, you know, just overwhelmingly kill. Not to say he's stupid, he's in no, you know, he's in no way stupid, but he's not exactly the, you know, he's not exactly a brainiac, is what I'm saying. Um, he is smart, and he's come up with great plans. In fact, he actually managed to trick Superman, um, in the, uh, su in the two-part Superman Darkness crossover. He managed to trick Superman in the end, but still, on the other hand, he's no, you know, brainiac, is what I'm saying. He is smart, but he's not, like, Pinhead, who is a who is a kind of like a master chess play, uh, player, really. He is, you know, he's incredibly deceitful and you know powerful. He d and he doesn't even need to use his power. But at the same time, you're like, yeah, heaven help you if he does decide to get off his, th you know, if he just decides to tear your soul apart by himself, then you are royally fucked. Um. So yeah, this would be a very this would be a very dangerous battle. This would be, um, you know, hell. You know, Jackie would be kind of like I don't know if the Darklings could stand up to him, no matter how many times he throws Darklings at Pinhead and his Cenobites, but they would still keep coming and coming uh, at him again and again. And you know, Jackie is still human under all that darkness armor. He's still human, and he gets t he can get tired. He can get worn out. Whereas the Cenobites don't really have that problem. They really um, don't have that problem and can keep coming after him. So yeah, this is a very this would be a very interesting villain for Jack. You know, the Cen Pinhead and the Cenobites would be very interesting villains for Jackie to try to overcome. They would be very dangerous opponents that would keep Jackie on his toes. Because again, Pinhead's incredibly intelligent could probably get Jackie to do what he wanted in through because he plays because Pinhead tends to play the long game for the most part. So yeah, so you guys tell me what do you think it would be like if Jack if the if uh, Jackie Estacado the Darkness had to you know what if his villain what if Pinhead was so, uh, Pinhead and the Cenobites were among his rogues gallery? Do you think he could survive or do you think he's going to get dragged to hell and have his soul torn apart? Just comment below, let me know, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.